started. Let's get this party started. <laughs> wow, that that came up right away. Yeah, <laughs> looks like, like we're the live. first time ever. I know. <laughs> Sorry, we're running a little bit late today. Um, we had some pit stops to make. I had to grab some lunch and uh, got a little delayed. So, plus we went and grabbed uh, some some irons over from Fuji Cora that we're gonna share with you guys today, and I think you're gonna love them. Yeah, these are pretty sweet. Uh, the final product is finally here. Uh, Fujikura was able to uh, switch out our uh, steel shafts to our graphite. Um, I got the 90, uh, 95 Pro X series, um, and they look amazing. I haven't hit them yet, brand new. Uh, I'm gonna go hit them after this. So, um, if you guys are new to the live stream, <laughs> I, love, I love the slow motion. Oh man, if you guys are new to live stream, uh, just fire away some questions. Uh, we'll uh, hopefully get to you guys. Uh, you know, we're gonna give you guys some updates on what we're doing, uh, what's going on, uh, what's happening in the future. And if you guys would like to make a donation, feel free to. Uh, we'll make sure we answer all those questions. We appreciate it. All that goes to the channel. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you guys are uh, got some uh, questions fired for us. Oh, looks like live stream is not firing. Yeah, maybe not. All right, let's. <clears throat> Having some technical difficulties here. Let's see if we can get this picture to load up. Anything? No video yet? Hmm. Can you guys see us? Let us know in the comments because we're not seeing our video um, and we're testing it right here too. So uh, we. I think you guys can hear us, but I'm not sure if you guys can see us, <laughs> which is a problem. <laughs> Let's see. No, I'm not seeing it on here either. All right, let's try this again. Come on, baby. <laughs> Is that every time we go live you get that? No, I just turn it on. <clears throat> it says we're offline. Yeah, I'm getting the same <clears throat> thing. <laughs> Did you see this one? <laughs> we're live. Okay. Audio wise. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Let's try it again. <laughs> There we go. I think we got it finally. <laughs> I hope. Are we back? I think, I think we're back. <laughs> okay. You guys should be able to hear us and see us. Let us let us know in the comments if you're having any issues. Not sure what happened. Literally didn't change anything. Just hit stop and start. So we're back. Mike him with it. Show him those <laughs> bad, bad boys. All, All right. right. So we run a little bit late. Uh, Marco ended up driving up to Fujikura. Picked up these beauties. Oh, 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 let me turn that volume down. <laughs> and uh, we got some brand new Fujikura uh, 95 weight gram X Flex Tour Spec shafts. And uh, these things just look like straight butter. And then uh, the Fuji boys just go, went ahead and engraved uh, our GH logo on the shaft. Go ahead and give them a little peep. Yes, sir. <laughs> let me know if the focusing is all right on there. Okay, right, Daniel, can you half yeah. push it? Half push. <laughs> A little further. Okay, looks like we're live. Yeah, yeah, we're good. It doesn't want to. If you just push oh, there, yeah. Do I just mess it up? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what we got going on down here. There so, if you guys are new to the. Uh, <laughs> it's good. It's, not, it's yeah. not really. But, well, I don't know if it's focused out here because it's delayed. But. Mm. There you go. Well. <laughs> All right, so yeah, the Fuji Core guys, like Mike said, they totally hooked it up. So we went up there and did a fitting. We filmed the entire video and the entire fitting. Um, so that video is going to be coming out uh, eventually, but it's probably going to be a few weeks until you guys see that video because we have a lot of stuff from Arizona to show you. But 
The fitting was awesome. Mike found these 95 gram weighted shafts that he absolutely loved. When, when you guys see how high he's hitting the ball, it's gonna blow your mind because, I mean, the way I, I've always seen him hit the ball has always been a little bit lower, actually a lot lower than most people players with a nice hard swoop. Um, with these irons, he was able to still have his draw, um, not as drastic of a draw, but still has a draw with it, but he was hitting the, bar, the ball like 20 feet higher with a seven iron, which is pretty substantial. And uh, Yeah, I mean with a high yeah, baby draw, it's I mean, dangerous. that's dangerous for anybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I can't wait to go hit him. I think after this live feed, I'm gonna go out there and go practice a little bit. I think this yeah. guy might join me, and uh, we're just gonna go have some fun with these shafts, and then we're gonna play with uh, the Fuji boys uh, on Thursday out at Shadow Ridge yep. and uh, we're gonna see if we can take those boys down. So I did, um, I didn't, I went with the 95s in my 5 iron and 115 in my 4 iron because I couldn't decide which ones I like better. Uh, obviously the 115s are a little bit heavier, uh, a little bit, um, I think they're they're both an X-Flex. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. both X-Flex. One's just a little bit heavier. So the Trackman uh, that they were using that we tried it on Numbers were pretty close with both of them, but I told them um, if I can hit it in a four or five iron, I'll know because you know usually these are the clubs that I will struggle with. And usually when I'm testing shafts, I hate hitting with seven iron. That's usually what everyone goes in there with, six or seven iron, and you get fitted for that. But I feel like I can hit a triple X stiff shaft in a seven iron and hit it decent. But when you put that in a four iron, like you'll know instantly if you're able to hit that shaft. So I'm gonna try these out and then we'll see uh, which ones we end up with. And if you guys are new to the live stream, once again, uh, if you guys want to make sure your comment is read, uh, leave a comment down below. And uh, if you guys make a little donation, we're going to 100% read it. So we already got some GM golfs in the house. What is up, <laughs> dude? We need to do a collaboration 100%. Yeah, the kid um, looks like he's got some game. Yeah, so. I mean, he's got trick shots. He's got he's yeah. got game on the course. Um, his YouTube channel is blowing up, so it's great to see. Yeah, and I just started following him on Instagram, so I've been peeping his stuff. It looks pretty good. <laughs> And uh, yeah, he might have to give us a couple pops though. Uh, <laughs> you know, I think we're gonna try and play out at uh, what is it, the PGA show? Yeah. So oh, hopefully uh, we can get out there and uh, squeeze out a round in and uh, see if uh, does does he have a partner that he plays with or is it just him? I mean, it's, I've seen him play with uh, his girlfriend sometimes with other buddies. Oh yeah, his girlfriend's so, good. Yeah, she's okay. a player too. So you know, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure out the format, okay. but right. it'll be a good time. <laughs> so that's one collab that you know hopefully we, will be happening down there. Yeah. Sounds good. So let's jump in. If you guys are new again, just uh, start firing away some questions down there and then we'll kind of chime in and fill you in on stuff that's going on with the channel and with our lives. And uh, yeah, just let's have some fun with it. Yeah, we just got fitted uh, for these shafts like Marco mentioned earlier um, and we have not hit them yet. So I know there was a couple questions saying, are we officially gonna switch? It looks, it looks pretty good from all the numbers. Yeah. I still gotta go out there and test them out on the course. But I feel like the 95 uh, X Flex uh, Pro Series for me is going to be uh, perfect. And if I can hit that high baby draw, man, that's going to be mm -hmm. dangerous. Yeah. So I mean, and, and just based on what they did with our driver fitting and how much, like, how in love we are with yeah. with those shafts right now. I mean, it's. I don't think I. Hopes. I don't think I've met a better fitter than than Marshall over yeah. at Fujikura. You know, I've been around the game since I was 19, fitting clubs since you know, 20 years ago. And uh, he was definitely the most knowledgeable. He was very open-minded. Uh, you know, we gave him feedback. He, he adjusted accordingly. And uh, I think he's just by far the best fitter. So if you guys are able to uh, get over there, definitely uh, recommend it. Let's see. Oh, John Grasso said, uh, what are our thoughts on the match between Tiger and Phil? I yeah, absolutely yeah. loved it. Yeah. You know, I was in Vegas. <laughs> I, I didn't go to the event, um, but I was getting a massage while the event was going on. <laughs> and I was watching the whole thing. It was like one of the best days of my life. But um, yeah, I, 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 I was, you know, engaged the whole time. I think they need to do more of it. Yeah. It's really good for the game. It's going to help grow and create awareness. I think people who aren't even golfers were aware of the match, which I mm -hmm. thought was really pretty cool. Um, what do you think? Yeah, no, I thought it was a blast. I mean, I had it on here and had a couple of buddies over. We were watching it, and uh, I mean, it's the Tiger and Phil. It's tough to beat that that matchup, and it was cool to see it come to the end too, and kind of go into the playoffs. So it was nice that it, you know it didn't go one way or the other, and kind of get you know finish up early. Um, I did want to see a little more banter though. Like I know Phil's a shit talker. Excuse my French, but I know he talks smack on the golf course, and uh, you know him being a member at some of the clubs around here, you, we hear a lot of the. The gambling that he does there and whatnot so it would have been cool to hear a little bit more smack talk 
Um, a little bit more bedding, closest twos and stuff. They did a, a few of those for charity, but I would have loved to see a little bit more of that. But overall, like Mike said, I think it's great for the game of golf, um, and I'd love to see more events like that, and maybe include some other players, not just those two guys, and uh, start involving some of the younger generation, like get Justin Thomas and Jordan Spieth out there, do some stuff with those dudes. Um, I think it could be, could be a blast. Yeah, I agree. Uh, John said, uh, when is the winner being announced for the Palma Valley foursome? Yeah, good question. Um, I think the contest just ended this morning or last night, I'm not sure. Um, but we'll, we'll probably draw the winner for that one today and then uh, throw it up on social media for you guys to see. Uh, any distance increase with the new driver shaft? I personally saw, I don't know if I saw any kind of drastic distance increase. Um, if anything, I just saw a little bit uh, tighter dispersion off the, off the, you know, off the tee with it and uh, I'm really happy with, with, with the switch that we made recently. I mean, those drivers are just working great for both of us. Did you see any kind of distance? Um, you know, I think the distance, I, I want to say is about five yards, so it wasn't too dramatic increase, but the dispersion is really the, the key mm -hmm. to that shaft. And for me, my dispersion, my misses, they're not as dramatic. I don't miss it hard to the left anymore. I don't miss it hard to the right. Um, you know, I, I've been hitting more fairways with that shaft than any other shaft I've ever put in my bag. I feel very comfortable with it and uh, yeah, it's, it's been awesome. What do you think of the AB3s? Um, it's kind of funny you ask, Sam, because I, when we were doing the fitting at Callaway or at, at Fuji for these shafts, the only uh, left-handed head that they had um, with these shafts was an AP3. It was one of the guys that works there. And I hit, I, you know, hit the 7 iron there and absolutely loved them. They felt great off the, coming off the club face, the ball height, the distance, everything was, it was very comparable to the irons that I currently play, which are the 770s. But I haven't hit Titleist clubs in probably about three or four years, and uh, they felt great. So check them out if you're, if you're a Titleist guy. I think they're a good set to go with. <laughs> Graphite shafts, yeah. I <laughs> like the logo on the shaft. I'm from wet and windy England. Uh, I feel for you guys. If you guys uh, are looking to you know, take a break from some of that weather, um, well, it's not going to be right now, but it's going to be next year. Our golf tournament, Golf Pollux Invitational, is next July, July 15th. Um, and you guys can come out and play golf with us out at the Santa Luz Club. It's a scramble format. A really fun event. We did it for the first time last year and had about 60 people come out. And this year, I think we're sold up to about 50 already. So 50 already. <laughs> so there's only 70 still slots available. Yeah. So sign up now before it's all booked up, okay? <laughs> And then also, <laughs> tomorrow uh, we are launching the most epic vid of all time with Paige and Chelsea uh, over at True North, and uh, we're going to be uh, doing a premiere yeah. uh, right right before mm -hmm. we launch it, so make sure you guys check that out, and uh, we're going to be on there live, so you guys can uh, leave us messages, we'll be responding, and uh, it'll be a fun little interaction with you guys, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Yeah, we're gonna see if uh, Paige wants to jump on as well when that video comes out, so should be a lot of fun, like Mike said. And let's go into some of the comments. Uh, David uh, Caro just uh, made a donation of 10 bucks. He said, hey guys, didn't find the channel until after you visited my home club, Atlanta Athletic Club. Wondering what you guys shot on the Highlands course. Be happy to host you if you come back to the ATL. Oh, I took Dude. a beating out there. Uh, <laughs> you know, I struggled from, from, I mean, if you watch that first hole, I hit about five trees, I think. <laughs> Uh, I want to say I, I shot high 70s, low 80s out there. Um, it, was, it was a tough course, and then when, when you compound it with playing bad and then uh, making poor choices on the golf course and bad course management, it's like, you know, it, it adds up. And for me, I, I definitely took a beating out there, but I love the course. Yeah, I think I was in the same ballpark as, as Mike, maybe uh, low 80s out there. Tough course. I mean, the, it's just a different beast when you're playing out there with massive trees and everything is so lush. So even when you get in the in the rough, it's uh, it's way thicker than what we see here in, in Southern California, but would love to come back out there, David. I mean, really appreciate the invite, and you guys have some fantastic courses, and um, even if we play Atlanta Athletic Club back-to-back, -back, <laughs> wouldn't mind that one bit. I, I would like to get some redemption out there, to be completely honest. Yeah. Maybe we do the Robert Trent Jones Trail mm -hmm. out there, too, since it's not that far away. Yeah. Uh, maybe we can kind of coordinate it uh, to do both uh, in one trip, and uh, yeah, if you guys are also out in Florida, 
We're going to be going to the PGA show in January, which is another pretty cool thing that we're going to be a part of. Uh, hopefully get in with uh, a couple of the different manufacturers, test out some clubs, do yep. some behind the scenes for you guys, get some interviews. Uh, we're going to hopefully interview like Roger Cleveland and a couple other designers for Callaway. And uh, yep. yeah, just show you guys uh, what the PGA show is all about. Yeah, we're going to be at the demo day where they're going to have all the clubs and obviously we'll check out some of the big brands, but if there's brands that you guys uh, have heard of that are like up and coming, um, let us know in the comments. I mean, we'll, and we'll stop by their booths and see what they have at the demo day and try out their stuff. Um, we're just going out there totally open-minded and um, obviously we're going to do some stuff with Callaway, but other than that, it's pretty much an open agenda and we're just going to have fun with it and hopefully meet some cool contacts. And then we also got invited to the Callaway premiere uh, invite only uh, on January 4th uh, to check out some of their new equipment that's going to be launched for the PGA show. So we'll do uh, some preview before <laughs> the show actually happens to yeah. show you guys what, what they're going to be creating and designing and, and going from there. So a sports uh, person said, hey Golfholics, any plans on traveling to different golf courses in the US and or international in 2019? So I think for 2019, Right now, the, the kind of the biggest thing we have planned is is the PGA show and then also a Bandon Dunes trip. So we'll be up in Oregon playing Bandon and uh, I cannot wait for that golf course, to be honest. I feel like the it's behind gonna the scenes be so is gonna be even better than the golf courses though. <laughs> With us yeah. like having putting contests on that punch bowl and just gambling <laughs> and having a good time. And Mark from the Club Fix will be out there talking some smack. So we'll have a good time with him. and. Uh, yeah, we'll just, I think it's just going to be an epic trip. Yeah. It's going to be one of my all-time favorites, I have a feeling, already. I agree with you. So Other than that, we don't have any kind of solidified plans right now for next year. We're just going with uh, kind of what comes our way, to be honest with you. The Arizona trip was made, made possible by a fan of the channel who invited us out. We stayed at his house. It made it very convenient for us because we basically, the only cost involved were, was the flight and you know one round of golf. Uh, the rest of the rounds were taken care of by the courses because they appreciate the, the exposure they're going to get. So we're hoping to do more of that next year. But again, if you guys have connections, you want to invite us out like David did for Atlanta, we really appreciate that. And uh, you know, if uh, if it makes sense and we can kind of coordinate it, we'd, we'd love to come out and play in your home state and you know film some more some more tracks. Yeah, shoot us an invite. You never know. We might just show up and uh, <laughs> to your home course and uh, play some golf with you. Absolutely. So, yeah, definitely uh, let us know. Uh, I think Pine Valley is a course that we're, we're definitely interested in trying to play. Pinehurst also. Um, those are a couple of good ones back east. Um, so if you have any connections with those, you know, feel free to reach out to us. Wayne said, uh, if there's anyone coming to the tournament from Australia and wants to share some costs, hit me up. And he put his email in there. So Wayne, Smart. that's awesome. You're going to be coming from Australia to play in this tournament. Uh, and hopefully you guys got that message. So if you're from, from the land down under, uh, hit up Wayne. His email is down in the comments and uh, you guys can kind of coordinate. And I think that's a great idea. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. If you have buddies that are, you know, that you can get to travel with you, you guys can split some of the costs when, uh, you know, staying somewhere and renting a car and all that stuff. And great way to do it. Uh, Kush mentioned that uh, he needs a driver fitting from Mark from the Club Fix. Yeah, uh, either shoot me a message or shoot him one on uh, Instagram. He'd be happy to let him know you're a Golfholics uh, friend of the channel and uh, he'll take care of you guys. Let's see what we got. What's been your favorite course that you've played in the last month? Quintero. Yep. I almost <laughs> said it first, but mm. <laughs> Quintero was something special. Yeah. Wait till you guys see that vlog. It's going to be amazing. You know, we, we really enjoyed uh, all the different in intricacies of that course. Yeah. A lot of undulations. It was very long. The greens were tough. They were big. They had nasty bunkers. Um, the design of it was awesome, and we won a free membership there. So, oh, dude, you know, yeah. combination of all those things. <laughs> I forgot about that. I forgot about that. So, oh, yeah, my God. we'll be going back to Quintero to go play it again. Yep. And uh, now that you know, we're a member, you know, it's it's just going to be great. Uh, wait till you guys see. I think it's going to be in part two. No, part three. Right? I think it's part, part three. three. In part three of the Quintero video, you guys will see how this guy won us a membership there and how it unfolded. Yeah, uh, it was. It's it's epic. We'll see if uh, Danielson can chop up a little short vid to uh, you know tease you guys a little bit on how we won that uh, <laughs> that membership. It was pretty cool. It was an eight iron from two fifteen, and uh, I'll leave it at that. So Josh uh, left a comment. Said been a subscriber since two thousand days. That's awesome, Josh. Love mm -hmm. it, buddy. 
So to keep up the awesome artwork, any interest in a round in Orlando or Top Golf, maybe be able to get in as a guest at Islesworth. Uh, looking forward to the tourney. Yes, uh, yes, and yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The Top Golf's <laughs> an easy one. When we're down yeah. there, we can definitely. We did that in Arizona. Would love to meet you guys at Top Golf and just hit some golf balls, grab a drink, you know, grab grab a bite, whatever, and just hang out and. Yeah, take a it. couple bucks off you too. Yeah, bring some yeah. cash, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, Isleworth is a great golf course. Yeah, so uh, we were looking at that one, Lake Nona, TPC Sawgrass, and um, what was the other one? I thought there was, I don't know. Yeah, I think those were the main ones. Those were the three yeah. that we really wanted to, to get out and play at. Yeah, so send us a note, Josh, and we can, we can coordinate something offline. Uh, Colin said, what type of water are you drinking there? <laughs> it's uh, Carlsbad oh, uh, the alkaline best. water. You know, they, they pump it up here in Carlsbad. It has a very high pH level, uh, you know, pH 8 to 9, you know, so keeps your body uh, nice and balanced. Um, so that's what we like to drink here. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it nice and healthy. <laughs> uh, do you think you'll play Pelican again? Ah. I think we need to play Pelican because we haven't covered the other side. I'm not sure which one we did in the south. Or the north. I mean, I think I we did the confused. north, yeah. and I think the south is the really nice one. Yeah. So eventually, we'll we'll get back up there and play it. Uh, but there's some other courses in Orange County, like Shady Canyon, and some other good ones yeah. that we probably want to get out at. I think Paul, get, with his membership, is uh, able to play yeah. uh, out there. So I think we'll uh, we'll do something with him yeah. and go play that golf course. Uh, hey boys, been enjoying the vids recently. Uh, too bad I missed you while you were in Arizona. I sent you some DMs on Instagram. I've never heard back. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, sorry Tyler. We're, we've been getting blown up on Instagram. The best way to get in touch with us is through the website. Just go to the contact form. Those go straight into my inbox and I read all the emails. Um, Instagram is a little bit tough just because, like I said, we get a lot of messages and um, I don't like to be on my phone all the time. I'm trying to just kind of stay off social media a little bit and, uh, you know, spend time with the family and um, not be consumed by it, so emails are out. No, we are not locked in for Bay Hill yet. We would love to, so if you've got any contacts over at Bay Hill, please let us know. Also, TPC Sawgrass. So yeah. if you guys, uh, you know, want to see us out there, definitely let us know. Uh, it's going to be really tough during the PGA show because all, all the vendors are going out there. I think they only allow a certain amount of tee times, but if you do have an in, let us know. Uh, Ellen Lynn said uh, we'll be in uh, Maui in March. Right. Besides plantation, what other courses would, would you recommend? Ellen, thanks for the invite. <laughs> um, I'll meet you out there. We'll go play some golf. Uh, no, uh, Grand Wailea is a great golf course. Uh, all three of the courses, I would yeah. recommend Emerald or Gold. I think those are the top two over yeah. there. Um, talk to one of our girls. Oh God, uh, what is her Michelle. name? Uh, Jennifer? Jennifer, yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's so. Jennifer. Let me know if you do want to go play there. I'll shoot her a message, get you guys set up. All right, that's the way to do it. There you go. You guys learn all, all you know about the game of golf from Brian Reifus. <laughs> <laughs> Cody Lehman. Uh, no, no, B, B has been great. You know, we grew up playing together. We played high school golf. He was a couple years older, so we had a really good team. You know, we competed against like Charlie Hoffman and a bunch of other really good players from Poway. Um, so we were, we were around a lot of solid golfers that really helped us improve. Yep. So seeing what someone can do, um, you know, from a different team allowed us to kind of push ourselves a little bit more to, uh, you know, become a better golfer overall. And uh, having good players around you, I think, is always a good benefit to 100%. see how you can improve, what, what little things they do right to, you know, that, that you might be able to take away from it. And, uh, yeah, maybe add to your, uh, your game. Yeah, I mean, I, I learned the vast majority of what I know from this guy. Even though I played golf in high school, um, I started playing in high school and definitely wasn't as committed to, to the game. I mean, I was playing it, but I had buddies that were on the team who were also learning, so we were all kind of in that um, kind of that learning stage at the same time. Playing in Palm Desert High School, too, where it was really competitive to even, you know, crack into the varsity squad. Uh, but when I started playing with Mike about 10, 11, 12 years ago now, um, he really showed me how to play the game of golf in a whole different way. Um, you know, obviously he's not the biggest guy and doesn't, you know, he hits the ball far, but he showed me how to play with what you got, you know, and he never preached like this perfect swing or trying to change a lot of stuff. But I always really appreciated that because golf can be really technical. I mean, you guys know that it can just like, you can live and die in the numbers and, the, and over analysis paralysis. So for me, it was really refreshing 
learning the game from him and him showing me like, you know what, just play with what you got, make little adjustments, all about ball position, alignment, just really simple things that anyone can can work on without any kind of really training aids other than, you know, putting down a club for alignment. And um, I think I think little adjustments like that are huge, especially when you're getting started out. It's uh, it's way too much stuff to think about. So keep it simple and you know, if you find someone that, that plays better and you go out there and just play with them and just pay attention and you'll get better. Yeah, and I think uh, the biggest thing with Marco, you know, that I've seen watching him over the you know, last decade is that his course management has improved a ton. You know, he makes good decisions on the golf course. He makes smart decisions when he needs to. He has a, he eliminates a lot of the high risk shots. And uh, I think that's, you know, goes back to what he said on the last live stream of just keeping it in play. And then obviously, you know, practicing, doing the basics correct, like swinging within yourself, you know, playing the high percentage shot instead of going at the pin or short siding yourself or hitting one out of bounds, you know, just, you know, just swing within yourself, keep it in play. And uh, it's not as complicated as everyone thinks it is. Yeah. And I think, you know, my ability to, to undersimplify everything <laughs> is, is, is a good thing. To not think too much on the golf course is a good thing. And just go with what you you know is right for your swing instead of trying to overanalyze everything and making the perfect swing. Just swing within yourself and you'll be fine. So it uh, looks like some people joined in a little bit late. Finn Saunders said, what are those clubs next to you? So if you guys are jumping in a little late, we'll go through it again. But we just got uh, done with the fitting up at Fujikora for the graphite shafts. Um, they even put in our edge to our GH logo um, right in into the shaft. And uh, Mike was hitting these things uh, just so pure. Wait till you guys see his ball flight. We filmed the whole fitting so you guys will see it, but he was hitting the ball like 20, 30 feet higher than he normally does. And uh, I was coming in nice and soft even with that draw, so. Yeah, Danielson's gonna yeah. have to adjust his, uh, his shot tracers for me, I think on the next vlog, coming up with these new shafts. None of yeah. these low swoopers. It's gonna be more of a high, soft draw. So. Yeah, and we're not 100% sure that we're going to go graphite, but we've heard a lot of good things. Obviously, there's a lot of there's a stigma out there with pros playing graphite and irons, which is kind of ridiculous with today's technology. But we're going to explain why there's um, you know some maybe some false information out there about what people think they know about graphite and steel shafts. And Marshall's going to break it down for you guys. So and he's going to be a good one. He's amazing at breaking it down. The guy, yeah. the guy's just like exactly what you want to listen to when you're talking to someone about shafts. So uh, definitely tune into that one. Chris Baker said, have you ever played LACC? I have a connection that can get me on and I'm wondering if it's on par with Riviera. Ooh. Chris, I highly recommend, we haven't played it and we tried to get out to LACC but didn't have the connections to, to make that happen. But uh, everything I've heard is it's, it's on the same level as Riviera and it's gonna blow your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Go play LACC, let us know how it is. Yeah. Uh, Tim said, Coach, how about a little respect for the triple champ? Yeah, my buddy just won his third CIF title uh, nice and won 110 in a row. I think when he breaks the all-time CIF record next year, we're going to have uh, Marco come out and we're going to do a little filming. And I mm -hmm. think we should show a little respect to the, the one of the best high school teams in San Diego County. Absolutely. Uh, you know, and that, that says a lot because Torrey Pines and a few other like Lacoste Canyon and Carlsbad are all really good schools. Our school is solid. Poway is a uh, very solid school. So to win 110 in a row... Is very impressive. Much respect there, Tim. Yeah, congrats, Tim. Hit a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this yeah. live stream. Let's give it up for Tim, for <laughs> Coach, you know, for Daniel, for editing. And the last question was about, um, is there a course vlog coming up? And absolutely. So tomorrow is going to be a big day. We're releasing the first, uh, the first video from our Arizona trip with Paige Sporanek and Chelsea. Um, it was we played out at True North, uh, sick course. You guys are going to love it. So we're gonna premiere it tomorrow. It's gonna to be 8 a.m. Pacific time. Um, and the premiere thing is kind of weird. I know some people got confused with what the premiere is, but basically it's the it's like a placeholder for when the video will be there. So you guys can basically save the link and it'll send you a notification still, but it makes it a little bit easier so we can get more attention to it and you can subscribe to the premiere and it'll send you a notification 100% um, when it comes out versus with YouTube and they kind of send out notifications when they feel like it when a video comes out. So with the premiere, you're gonna for sure get the notification and we'll be in there like a live stream, live chat, um, talking about the video as it's playing out. So it's gonna be really fun and engaging. So <laughs> You won't wanna miss it. <laughs> yeah. Um, Duke said that he might be able to get us on Bay Hill, but he needs to hear back. So Duke, shoot me a message. Uh, he said he sent you one, uh, I'm not okay. sure. So just 
reach out one more time to us and we'll, uh, we'll get back in touch with you. Uh, Sean just donated uh, some cash. Thank you for that. He said, hey guys, been with you with you for a long time now and love the content. Would you consider coming to play in Australia one day? I'm just starting YouTube and I'd love to have you guys uh, show me a thing or two. Yes, Sean, Australia is a, a place that we definitely want to go to. I, I'm not sure it's going to fit in, in the rotation in 2019, but 2020, yeah. I think for sure is going to happen. Uh, there's some great courses over there. There's a member out at Santa Luz that we became friends with that is, uh, I think he's a member at Royal Melbourne or mm -hmm. something. And uh, I think we're going to try and get out there and play with him at least one round too. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do something together. My mom's in the house. What's up, moms? Mm. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> uh, did you see the Prisma? Where is it? Scroll up a little. Maybe. Mm -hmm. What about Mizuno muscle backs? Um, I think when we do the demo day, we'll be trying out some Mizunos. They're obviously great clubs. Um, I used to, I never played them, but I definitely hit some when I was younger. So. Go try them out. I'm not a huge out. fan. No? No, I'm Callaway. I think I'm going to be Callaway for life, so. <laughs> Mike's a simple guy. Yeah, I, once one thing works, I stick with it. I don't mess around with it too much. I don't. I, I still haven't even taken that 60 degree wedge in my bag that's been there for 10 years with no grooves on it. Didn't even mess with it. I'm not putting graphite in it, not doing anything different. I'm going to leave it exactly the way that it is because oh, it's man. been the best 60 of my life. But for so, the sake of the channel, you kind of should test out some other clubs. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see if they can get me to switch. But uh, right now, it's you don't a need no. to switch. Just try them out. <laughs> That's it. Uh, Sean said, Marco, what's the name of the meditation app that you mentioned? Um, it's called Headspace. So you can find it. I think they have it for Android and iPhone. So uh, Chris mentioned that we should do some challenges. Yeah, I think we will eventually at some point. It's, I think it's tougher for us to create more challenges than it is for us to go out there and vlog. You know, I, I, I don't yeah. think we have a clear idea of how we're going to do our challenges. We try and do everything a little bit different than what, you know, everyone else is doing. And that, yeah, I think, I think you nailed it on the head. I think that's the hardest part is that we want to stand out with what we do and make sure that we're giving you guys content that's just unique and uh, kind of refreshing in a way. So doing challenges like a lot of these guys have just done, like, you know, play a hole with a putter and all those challenges. and. I think they could still be fun, but uh, for us, it's just like, we just haven't made time for it, to be honest with you. When we have time, it's, let's go out and play 18 holes and, and film it, and uh, that obviously gives us a little bit more content, too. It gives us free videos instead of, you know, potentially just one or two. Uh, Jacob said he's got a friend over at Bel Rivi, and can usually get mm. me and a couple friends in for free on Mondays over <laughs> the summer. Yeah, man, shoot us a message. I would totally That'd be down. Sick, yeah. uh, it'd be great. That's, that's a great golf course. Would you ever come to Pennsylvania to play? My treat, Connor, yes we would. I mean, I got buddies in, in Pennsylvania, so um, we already have some connections over at the Ace Club, and obviously you guys got some sick courses out there, so hit us up, and we'll see if we're out there. Uh, Dubby the man said, hey coach, the shirt is sweet. Where do I get one? Uh, in the link in the description below, golfholics.com. Jump on there, we got some fresh hats, got some shirts, got some ball markers, we got some great stuff in there. Um, so go check it out and, uh, you know, Pick up something. And we added a little thing to the store. When you guys get there, if you give it like 10 or 15 seconds, it loads up a little wheel that you can put in your email address. You spin the wheel and you could win a discount or free shipping. Um, but we're just doing that to try to collect emails, to be totally honest. But also there are, you know, discounts in there that you can get. So um, it's a win-win for us. And we're only going to send you guys emails with, you know, if we come out with new products or a new video comes out. And uh, we don't even send emails that often. We're just... <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're being advised that we should be collecting them, so that's what we're we doing. We won't spam you to death. Yeah, we won't spam you, for sure. <laughs> uh, Bob mentioned that he would rather watch us than Tiger and Phil. I don't know, Bob, I, we appreciate that comment, but I mean, those guys are <laughs> legends. And, you know, I, I was talking to Marco and I was saying, hey, maybe we should do something like that where we go live, you know, on, yeah. on the course and do some trash talking and, and do a live stream with that and see if we can do that logistically with what we have with the equipment. We'd have to upgrade it the equipment a little bit or rent the portions that we need but we 100% can do a live stream and we can do it at a fraction of the cost that what they did I mean so I don't know why you guys but did you notice how terrible some of the camera angles were uh, during that event like sometimes yeah. when they were putting and stuff yeah. like that I was I like too. dude like this is like amateur and, hour. <laughs> and sometimes the ball ended up somewhere and they didn't even have a camera on it I mean I don't know like it, they were spending a lot of money to put this thing on like you think that they would be able to get the camera angles and the shot tracers even were like not working half the time and 
I don't know. It was like, I, I know that they got to start somewhere, but at the same time, some of this technology has existed for a long time. So you're not really creating anything new. You're just, you know, licensing it. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my little rant. <laughs> Someone said play the whole course with a hybrid. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah. I don't even own a hybrid though. Well, you lose by default. Give me the five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hit my driving iron. How about that? Uh, how old was Mike when he moved to Chicago? I was six when I moved out here. <laughs> Which ripe his brother's ha brother has the better handicap. <laughs> You're looking at him. <laughs> Sorry, B. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys saw his chipping. <laughs> <laughs> on the last bit. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that's just his brother. Love you, bud. Yeah. You're a great player. He is. Just messing with you, Show dude. some respect to your older brother. I know, you're here. right. I'm sorry. Don't worry, B. I'll take care of it. He's a player. Don't <laughs> get me wrong. He hits that high fade I pay 10 grand for, okay? <laughs> I, I mention it every week. <laughs> I know you mentioned this before, but any way to add distance or overlays of the shot shapes via a cross or something similar? Um, add distance or over... <sighs> We could, it just adds more work for this guy sitting right here and we're already, <laughs> these videos already take up a lot of time. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think I know what you guys are talking about. So like we hit a driver off the tee, you can see, you know, 200 yards where it lands, you know, whatever, 260 and then the rollout and you can see the full distance. I think that'd be sweet. Um, we're just not quite there yet with, with the tech and uh, the resources. So maybe in the future. Uh, Isaiah said you guys should do shot tracer on put on putters. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, Daniel. <laughs> we got more work for you if we want. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, it's not that, a bad that'd idea. That'd be pretty easy because the camera's stationary. Yeah, maybe maybe experiment it with okay. it. Okay, all right. There you go. Maybe with the page bit. Stay tuned. Uh, Tim, uh, thank you for the donation. Uh, what's up, man? I know we've been trying to catch up and play some golf uh, recently, but we haven't been, we haven't played once since we've been back from Arizona. Our work schedules got a little bit swamped. Uh, being out gone for a week definitely put us behind, uh, but we'll definitely get out and play. And uh, he said that we can do uh, maybe one or two or three challenge on course, uh, like we yeah, did with those him. Were fun. Those were fun. Like yeah. you know, we could do that. It's just we got to make sure that we keep up with pace of play. And as you know, it's it's very tough with with two cameras and trying yeah. to play well and and everything else. But uh, we could definitely do one or two challenges on course. Michael said, uh, will you guys come to the Bay Area in California? Michael, first of all, thank you for the donation and uh, you know, following the channel. I think we'll, we'll definitely be back to the Bay Area. We just don't know when yet. Um, there's, we still want to get back out at the Olympic Club. I, I want to get out there and play the other side and um, maybe play the Lakes course again. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a fun one. Even Pasa Tiempo, dude. We need to go play Pasa again. Pasa. I'd love I mean, to play me some Pasa. And then Spyglass. Yeah. I don't think I can get, ever get tired of that course. I think I I'd know. skip out on Pebble and maybe even do Spanish Bay. You know, Spanish Bay is beautiful. It's right on the water. It's got that awesome putting green. I'd yeah. like to give Pebble another chance, to be honest with you. I want to like Pebble. Um, and I, I, I think I'd be willing to pay the money again to play it if the greens <laughs> were in good shape and just see what the experience is like. Cause I think a lot of people have a good experience out there and it is a bucket list type course, but um, obviously ours was not ideal, so we'll see. Um, someone said that uh, your cha our channel takes him away from his soul-sucking job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, and then Duke, thank you for the question. He says, how are your business, uh, businesses doing? They're doing good. Uh, they're not as, uh, they're not moving as forward as we would probably like just because we're taking so much time for the channel. Uh, we're kind of loving doing what we're doing with the channel. We see the benefits. We could possibly turn this into a business uh, if we do everything, you know, proper in the next year or so yeah. and um, you know if we can then we'll, we'll step away a little bit more from our, our businesses and do this full time. I've never seen this button right here guys this is play ad I just I'm gonna push it so you might see an advertising right now but I just want to see if that's what it actually is. Yeah. <laughs> so let me know in the comments if you like <laughs> actually got an ad. That's weird that just popped up. Okay but yeah speaking of turning this into a business um, Mike and I are working on creating a, basically a platform where we can give you guys more content. It's going to have more behind the scenes. It's going to have more course logs that we don't have on YouTube. It's going to have some instructional stuff. So that's something that we're actively building and working on right now. It's obviously we have to create content for both sides, YouTube and this new platform. But hopefully that's something you guys are going to enjoy and want to be a part of. Um, it is going to cost some money to be a part of it, but I think we're going to be able to give you guys really good value there. 
Um, and there's not going to be any kind of ads either, so you're not going to have to you know hit skip ad or watch an ad up like you do with these YouTube videos. Um, so hopefully you guys will like that. Um, you guys have been asking for more content, so I think that's going to be a really good way for us to be able to give you more while still be able be able to kind of create an income with it and hopefully transition into doing this full time. And yeah, as Marco mentioned, you know we're going to do some some coaching. So you know if you guys need yep. to learn how to hit a swoop. There's no one better in the business than, than I am, okay? <laughs> and then, you know, we'll do some on-course management also, uh, which I think is very undervalued. Um, I think that's really what's changed Marco's, you know, handicap from a, from a six down to a one. Um, and those little things that, you know, most teachers don't teach or, or you know, give you information on. They, they try and teach you just the swing and, and mechanics. Um, I, and I think the, the on-course management thing is going to be really good for everybody. It's going to be good for, for me to even talk through it instead of just coaching up the kids and, and anyone else I play with. But just to express it to you guys, I think it's going to be good too. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. And we're going to show you guys also behind the scenes of traveling, like the places that we stay at, like getting there. Um, you know, bossing Daniel around to grab bags. And, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we love Daniel. They'll take that the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you guys will get to see all that, all that stuff that happens too, which... Um, there's a lot of funny moments uh, during the traveling and us just, you know, bickering and, and picking on each other. Um, and I think you guys, you know, if you're interested in kind of the behind the scenes, uh, it'll be cool. And yeah, so we'll see how it goes and we'll let you guys know when that's ready. We're probably still another couple, couple months out until we're ready to launch this bad boy. But um, just so you guys know what we're working on. Yeah. And I think we got another donation in here from Tate. Go ahead. Uh, Tate said uh, he's a high school uh, varsity freshman. He's a 14 handicap. Any tips? Uh, my recommendation is always chipping and putting. Mm. Just go out there and spend hours and hours on your chipping and putting, and I guarantee you your handicap will drop in, in the next couple of weeks or even months. Get familiar with the, the, the 20 yard chip, the 10 yard chip, the flop, you know, the bunker yeah. play, just anything around the green 20, 30, 40, 50 yards. Get really familiar and comfortable with those swings and those shots and uh, I promise you your handicap will drop. Work on your putting, find somebody on tour that you really enjoy, uh, his putting stroke. Ricky Fowler is a great one. Um, you know, Justin Thomas, uh, uh, Dustin Johnson. Yeah. There's a lot of really good putters on tour that, that, that you might wanna just mimic and follow their setup. If you like left hand low, Jordan Speed. Yeah. If you like a normal grip, boom, uh, you know, Justin Thomas. If you like the claw, look at um, who's Sergio. That? Yeah, Sergio or uh, that other Englishman with the long hair. Um, Fleetwood? Yeah, Fleetwood. Yeah. So um, just pick somebody out that you really like, look at their setup, try and mimic it, look, uh, get, get yourself in front of a mirror, uh, get your position, get familiar with it, and then go uh, attack the golf course. Yeah, and there's a million videos out there of these pros and uh, even their warm up routines and, and you know how they practice. So you guys can just search that on YouTube and find you know what they're doing and literally like Mike said just mimic it. We got one question from Sonny here. Don't touch this. I messed up. Yeah. Sonny asked uh, for you guys tournament do you have to sign up as a team or can a single snag up a spot? You can sign up as a single 100%. We have a lot of singles that came out last year and we'll just pair them up um, and if you know your friend decides to sign up for the tournament you just guys can shoot us an email let us know and we'll make sure you guys are paired together. Um, we're not pairing people up by based on handicaps. It would be too hard and not everyone has one. So it's kind of random, um, just to be totally honest. But um, it's fun time. You guys have one commonality and, and you know, all, you guys all have one commonality, which is golf in this channel. So it's really easy to make friends and uh, make some good connections. Tim uh, le left us a, a really kind message. I'm glad there's, uh, there's going to be a, a way we can invest more into this channel to help you turn this into a full-time business. You guys are a sure bet <laughs> than the stock market. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we, the platform that we're creating, it's hopefully going to be launching sometime in January. And, um, you know, obviously, if you want to contribute anything to the channel, you can make a donation. That's always helpful. Um, all the little things that help pay for Daniel's salary for us to travel, us play different golf courses, yeah. uh, take our, ourselves away from our businesses and our families to, uh, to do this. Uh, we love doing what we're doing right here. We love the community that we've built. We've had so many great friends yeah. of the channel that have, you know, just been absolutely wonderful to us. You know, we would have never made that Arizona trip if it wasn't for Brian. Um, you know, Mark from the Club Fix, Aaron, Charles. I mean, I could go on and on. Alan, uh, you guys have just been the best. And, um, you know, th this channel warms our hearts. And uh, we, we just love doing this. And we love interacting Absolutely. with you. We love building this community up. We love 
you know, just showing you the different beauties of the golf course. And uh, hopefully we can, you know, show it to you guys in a way that you guys are going to enjoy it and, and hopefully uh, enjoy the, the other platform that we're going to create and uh, hopefully transfer on over to uh, that platform also. Yeah, and if you guys see us out in the public too, uh, some people have you know sent us messages said you know they saw us somewhere but they were shy to come say hi. <laughs> Don't ever be shy to say hi to us. We're just normal guys. I mean, we're yeah, we make YouTube videos and a lot of people see them, but we're just normal people, just like celebrities and these sports stars, just normal people out there. So we're very approachable. Come say what's up. You know, talk a little smack if you want to lose some money on the putting green. Whatever, you know, it doesn't matter. John. Yeah. <laughs> so we're we're very uh, very accepting. So yeah, I actually ran into up. a fan of the channel when I was in Vegas, and uh, I think he was a 13 year old young man who uh, played high school golf, and I uh, got a chance to take a picture with him. And yeah, it was great to talk to him and his family, and uh, you know, just share the common bond of, of yep. golf. So yeah, definitely uh, come take a picture with us if you uh, if you see us. Uh, Vikman762 said, great content guys, would love to see some instructional videos, please help us fix the dreaded driver slice, keep them coming. Thank you for the donation and, and exactly that's, that's the kind of stuff that we're going to be addressing in, uh, on our website and uh, in those videos and in the instructional videos. We're also going to find a different way to, to explain the stuff that you know a bunch of people have already created content explaining, which I think is the hardest part, but um, hopefully you guys will like those and uh, we'll see how it goes. Alan, thanks for the donation. <laughs> Alan, and, dude. Oh, you and man. Tim, you gotta love you guys, yeah, dude. You guys Tim just said I missed the last live stream, so he donated another couple bucks. And Alan, did I, did and, I get and, a shot? And Alan, if, uh, <laughs> if my brother can't play with us with Tim, you, you're the next man up. So um, hopefully uh, you can join us in the next next round with uh, with Tim. And I think we're gonna try and do Matt Woodson, go old school style. On him. <laughs> uh, let's start golf out there. Yeah, Tim, thanks again for the donation. Appreciate it. Aaron, Aaron's in the house. What is going on, buddy? Hopefully uh, you had a good Thanksgiving. Hopefully all you guys had a good Thanksgiving and uh, happy holidays. But Aaron said good luck to everyone at the 2019 tourney. Mark, Tim, Elisa, and I are taking that trophy. <laughs> yeah, you took second last time, which was great. But I think there's going to be some players this year. We've already gotten some messages that there are going to be some sticks. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we'll see if you guys can hang and uh, still get in that winner's circle. Yeah, we'll see. It's going to be, it's going to be <laughs> stiff competition this year. Uh, have we ever played in England? Been watching your channel for a week or so. Awesome stuff, guys. Thanks, Jamie. I've never played across the pond. No, but soon. Either. Yeah, soon. I, I think if we do it, we're going to do Ireland, Scotland, England. Just, yeah. just, just do, do it all. Like two it right. weeks, ten courses, just... Yep. Just content for days. Yeah, you know? that's what we discovered from Arizona. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but no. you know what? It was exhausting playing golf five days in a row and filming. And I'm not complaining by any means, but it was a lot of work for us. But now that we have a nice repository of content, it's like it's kind of it's nice. Like we can go out and just play a casual round right. and not feel bad. We haven't played in two weeks because of the holidays since we've been back, yeah. and now you know we can get back to it next week or you know maybe even this week. Yeah. You know, we're not stressed on providing content for you guys. Yeah, so it's it's definitely going out, taking trips, doing a bunch of it, filming at once is the way to go. And if you guys are just tuning into the live stream, just a quick reminder, we are going to have that page vid uh, live uh, tomorrow. So make sure you guys check out. We're going to do a little premiere where we're going to interact with you guys. Hopefully you get Paige on there and uh, we'll, uh, we'll have some, some fun. Uh... So we got one question, how high do you tee it for part three? But before we answer that, I think that is a great instructional video in itself. Mm -hmm. How high to tee different clubs, and I don't know, they probably exist, but it'd be nice to show it. And the type of tees that we use too. We're very particular about the types of tees. Some people call us crazy, but I will not tee off with a plastic tee. I would rather tee off, off uh, on a part three where I'm using an iron. Um, and we could talk about that. I think it puts different kind of spin on it, on the ball. Um, for me also, I feel like I have a tendency of chunking it when it's on a plastic tee. It just grabs the club a little bit. So, um, yeah, you also got to yeah. remember, you know, when you're using a plastic tee, there's no release like a wooden tee. When you hit the wooden tee, you crack it, you break it, you make a divot. Uh, with the plastic tee, there's no divot, yeah. there, there's no release. It, it's, it's actually resisting your club face. So it's going to manipulate it as soon as you make impact. It's going to, you know, change the ball flight from what you're used to. So, uh, if you guys are using plastic tees for your irons, don't do it. <laughs> And in terms of how high do we tee it, I mean, I tee mine so it's just barely above the grass. The ball's right there. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter what iron. Usually all of them are about the same height, but 
instructional video coming yeah. up. Yeah, I, I usually tee it a little higher if I need to play a higher flight with a little more spin too. So we'll go over all that over, you know, uh, on our other platform here soon. Dan said, Coach, do you like having your draw or is it something that you just, uh, that you can't correct? No, I like my draw. I really do. Um, I've always, you know, my, I think my visual has always started outside the line and draw back and I just, I, 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 I tried playing a fade and I've shot more rounds in the 80s playing a fade than I ever have. No. Obviously I have a really strong grip so that doesn't help. And uh, with that strong grip, if I just go with it and I don't resist the draw, then I think I'm fine with it. And I've been playing it my whole life. So I just, you know, it feels comfortable for me. And uh, now if I can play a high draw with these new irons, it's going to be dangerous. Uh, John said, are there any flat putts on the courses you play in the U.S.? It always seems like you guys are always left with a putt that has a huge break. Or is, just, or is it just the close camera angle? I mean, I think a lot of the courses that we, we try to play challenging courses. Um, you guys don't see us playing too many like resort style courses. And that's because we want to show, you know, we want to not only show you some beautiful courses but we personally like a challenge too that's why we always play the tips and so a lot of the, the courses that we choose to play have a lot of undulation in the greens um some more than others like santa Luz, you know it, you can get a lot of straight putts out there and things don't break as much but um like riviera for example i mean <laughs> there were some nasty breaks out there tory pines do you play tory i mean there's going to be breaks that we you know, wouldn't even play for and all of a sudden it's snapping three feet. Yeah, the gravitational so. pull towards the ocean. I mean, it's amazing out at Tory. Gravitational Tory. pull. <laughs> People are going to eat that up, dude. <laughs> I'll put that on his shirt. Oh, God. Uh, Chris Baker said, whatever happened to the guy that wanted to challenge Mike Alta? Question mark. Yeah, he, went he never came through. We were supposed to play in November last year, I think it was. Yeah. And he disappeared like a fart in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How about Elisa making female golfer of the week from Golf Digest? Oh, really? I didn't even know that. That's I didn't know awesome. that either. Wow, wow, man, we'll have to shoot her a note. That's, that's killer. That's awesome. Paige in the premiere, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, take it easy. <laughs> uh, when do you guys think it's too late to consider going pro? Hmm, good uh, question. If you have to ask that question, you're probably already too late. I mean, I, you know, it depends on what kind of pro you're looking for. If you're trying to make it on tour, um, you know, I'm going to say early 30s. It, I would, you know, probably consider shutting it down and, you know, maybe maybe building a career in the golf industry or going to work somewhere else. But if you're in your 30s and you're not on tour, uh, or at least like uh, the mini tour, then I, I definitely recommend maybe something else. <laughs> so I would have it slow. Donated five bucks at a hammer and a nail cost a dollar and ten cents. The hammer costs one dollar more than the nail costs. How much does the nail cost? Ten cents. Costs dollar one dollar more than the nail. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's the obvious answer, but I don't I know. know if that's the right one. All right. Well, let's not do any more of those. Okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, right. I'm not gonna answer it about that. Oh man. See. Uh, Tim said, Eric, that was impressive. Hopefully Eminem chime in. Uh, we missed it. Uh, shoot us another message. Oh, I think he was talking oh. about this. Oh, yeah. there it was. Okay. okay. Yeah. We went back. Sorry. Uh, so 24-7 golf, car crash. I uh, said, I'm 17 right now. When I was 12 years old, I was in a car crash and had my leg amputated from halfway down my left shin. Uh, I was very athletic, but obviously became very limited because of this. I found golf as my inspiration. And you have helped me, uh, made me very happy watching your videos. Dude, uh, you know, I love hearing that, that we can help you with our videos. If there's, um, you know, any, any way that you guys can draw inspiration from what we're doing, I think that's a great thing. And uh, we always try to do our best to stay positive in videos and be really thankful for everything that we have. Um, hopefully with all the technology that's out there for, you know, amputees and things like that, hopefully you're still able to get out there um, with a prosthetic and, uh, you know, still enjoy uh, the game of golf. But uh, best of luck to you, man. Just hang in there. Keep your head high. I know there's going to be tough times with anything you go through like that in life. Um, and, yeah, that's all I can say. Uh, oh, Marshall's in the house. What's up, Marshall? Marshall. <laughs> hey, guys, great stuff. Looking forward to playing on Thursday and testing out the new iron shafts. Yes. <laughs> 
It, I mean, we can't wait oh to. Uh, I mean, the. Uh, we got them right here, yeah. Marshall. <laughs> I mean, I got mine next to me. We're, Dude, we're gonna go play. Might and sleep with practice. these tonight. I know. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> he stole that one from me. No, I didn't. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> these things look like butter. I just can't wait to hit them. Uh, looking forward to playing with you guys too. Hopefully, you guys don't beat us up too bad. We know you're a bunch of hustlers over there at Fujikura. So, yeah. You know, we're gonna have a fun little match, and uh, maybe we'll do a quick giveaway for the fans too, if we if we can. And Marshall, uh, I think everyone's really appreciated all your insight on the last series of videos. So I think talking about the you know graphite shafts, kind of the difference between those and steel, and you know some of the uh, some of the things that people just don't know about graphite these days, and all the technology you guys have is going to be really cool. So thanks again for you know jumping on the camera with us and uh, making another kill video. Yeah, I think you're going to be a huge factor into more and more kids and, and you know pros and, and everyone else. You know, switching over from uh, steel to graphite, and yeah. uh, our longevity just increased the next year five to ten years. So. Mm, appreciate Thanks, that. Thanks, Marshall. My joints are gonna love you. <laughs> Hi from Canada in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, rough. Oh, that sucks, guys. It's uh, 75 and sunny out here, <laughs> and uh, we're in t-shirts and, and pretty much shorts. What is so. the most difficult part <laughs> of golf for both of you? Um. Uh, hmm. That's a good question. I'd say probably putting. No. Yeah. For me, um, I, I've always been a decent putter, but not a putter where I can make five, six footers consistently over time. I seem to always lose a little bit of concentration over those. I think the harder the putt, the better I do, <laughs> but the easier the putt, the harder it is for me. So I'd, I'd probably have to say putting, but with that new Odyssey, I've been putting fairly decent with it. Yeah, I think for me it's uh, it's putting, chipping. Sometimes even like with chipping, uh, even though I, I feel pretty comfortable in most areas, I, there's still some spots that I get into where I feel really uncomfortable with, with hitting chip shots, and I tend to favor going a little bit long just to get it on the green, give myself a chance. But um, yeah, so I need to put a little more more time and effort into this. And I'd say game. forty to sixty yard bunker shots. The, <laughs> yeah. the one that this guy mastered on hole seventeen out of Palma Valley. That that shot was unbelievable. If you guys <laughs> haven't seen that video. Go back, go check it out. Uh, Palm Valley Part Three, uh, Hole 17. This guy hits one of the toughest bunker shots in the world to about five feet, and then misses the putt. But... <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I do it all the yeah. time. Yeah. I do it all the time. It, it breaks my heart to even say that about yeah. you, but uh, I, 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 I can appreciate that because I've hit a lot of really good shots and then missed the putt, yeah. and it's just devastating as, as a golfer. <laughs> Uh, Robert said playing TPC Scottsdale next Friday. Would uh, I love if your all blog is posted before then? Also, would you all ever come to Alabama to play the Robert Trent Jones Trail? Uh, yes, on the trail, absolutely. That's been on the bucket list actually for some time, right? Yeah, for a really long time. You know, we do our uh, our golf trip every year, and this year we're going to do Bannon. But Robert Trent Jones uh, is going to be uh, <laughs> uh, Elon's just uh, my yeah. son's home from school, so he's over. He wants to come. Come in here and say what's up. Yeah, so I was saying uh, the Robert Chen Jones uh, trail is something that we definitely wanted to uh, to hit up probably in the next year or two. So hopefully we can uh, we can get that in the books. And then as far as the TPC Scottsdale next Friday, it won't be live. Um, we've got uh, True North, then we got Quintero, and then TPC Scottsdale. So it'll probably be the week after. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's just. Uh, Pup for dough, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that, and that's one of the main reasons why I stopped playing this game too. Is, uh, I missed so many five-footers in my career that I don't think there's any other human being that's missed more three, four, or five-footers. So, what's up, buddy? Come here, big man. How you doing? Come on around. Oh, we got Elon out. Watch out for the cord. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> okay. Come on, big dog. This guy just turned four years old. Yep. Uh, went to Legoland. Oh, there what's, he is. What's up, dude? There's my boy. How was school? Yeah, you have fun? Did you learn some stuff? <laughs> I just found the wire before school. You you found the wire? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> my big boy just turned four. We had some fun at Legoland, didn't we? We had a good time out there. What did you guys do out at Legoland? What did we do? We rode some rides, didn't we? Roller coaster. You got you got him to go on a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, two, Wait, times. <laughs> two, two times. times. Two times. Two times. You got Dad to go. <laughs> I don't uh, like roller coasters. Yeah, he's, he's a little scared of the roller coasters, guys. I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm scared of them. I just don't like the feeling of a roller coaster. You're getting whipped around. I'm more of a kind of mellow. Why kind do you of guy. don't? Oh, why did? Why do you don't like? 
Like the how fast it goes. Yeah, sometimes I like to go fast in a car, but something that I'm controlling, you know, roller coaster. It's like, yeah, it's not for me. <laughs> Did you like it though? That's all that matters. Yeah. yeah, if you like it, go with mom. She loves it's that stuff. It's your birthday, yeah. right? No, she doesn't like that. Stuff. She does like it. She wanted to go on the big one. Remember that? Uh huh. But you weren't big enough, and I was too scared, so mommy didn't get to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and mommy would do scared still. <laughs> uh, Jack said, uh, have we ever played Pine Valley? We have not. So if you have any contacts out at Pine Valley, please let us know. We'd love to come visit our golf course. <laughs> uh, what's up from New York? I'd love to, I'd love to live in, and play in California, but I'm still in school. Yeah, California's fun. I mean, obviously we have nice weather, but we also have very high tax rate too. So that's something to consider if you're going to come out here. But uh, the trade-off is pretty good. Yeah, so. it's worth that 11% that we got to pay the state to, to live in this beautiful weather. And there's no bugs, <laughs> so which is another bonus that most people underestimate. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's, just, it's December 1st almost, hey, and it's 75 you? and sunny. What's up, buddy? <laughs> I grew up on Beth Page Black and still the hardest course in the country. Yeah, it's definitely probably yeah. one of the toughest, for sure. You know, I just asked if I'm ready to play some video games. Ooh, got him gaming it up already. Yeah, this kid's already gonna be a stud, yeah. for sure. He's a, he's a gamer, just like daddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you guys watch the match? Yeah, we already talked about that. Best tips for irons. I think just staying down on the ball and uh, swinging within yourself. I think you start swing, trying to swing too hard even I have a tendency sometimes to try to put a little extra on the ball um, with irons and it tends to go all over the place. So I think just, you know, making good <laughs> good contact, staying down on the ball and uh, it'll work. All right, I think it's time. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, coach? Yeah, I think so. It's been about an hour. Are we ready? Thank you guys. <laughs> I think we're ready. Yeah, I think we're ready. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have been giving us. Hopefully you guys had a great Thanksgiving. And um, yeah, hit them with the, the rest of it. Yeah, again, guys, make sure you hit a like, subscribe to the channel. We got, again, a video coming out tomorrow with Paige, so that's gonna be a really awesome series. Uh, Daniel's over here editing it, showing us some clips, and it looks like it's gonna be a really good one. So uh, make sure you guys join us tomorrow at 8 a.m. for the premiere, and uh, have a great rest of your week. All right, guys, later. Say bye, Elon.